Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Money in the Law on MyFM 101.3 in the Holliston Hub with your host, Jay Marsden. He's from the Marsden Law Group. I'm John Drohan. I'm from Main Effort Financial. Yes, That's you Tom are. Harmon. Yes. He's the executive producer at the Holliston Hub. And this is your show. Your, your favorite host. Show. Your favorite show. Your host favorite here show. Is providing you your show, Money and the Law. Oh, yes, yep. it is. In yes, our th- it is. 13th season in yes. Money in the Law. Gosh. Am I making that up? No, Probably you're not. not. No, no, you're pretty close. Uh, Money in the Law, what Rounding. we do, what we do is we provide you a little insight, a little guidance, a little uh, ample, ample yep, guidance, and insight. guidance on anything to do with uh, finances yep. or money or investing or money management, debt management. But then we also movie reviews. Well, then we're getting to that. And then the other side, the other serious thing we do is we talk about the law, particularly in estate planning. Um, my partner tends to tends to focus on elder law planning. Sure. So sure. there's uh, all of that, anything and anything that you want to know about those topics, finance, money, elder law planning, the law, you are in the right place. Do not go anywhere. Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I am doing splendid, <laughs> splendid. Splendid. Yeah, right now he's uh, right now he's thinking and talking right at the same time. Writing down some thoughts while yeah. we're talking, so I yeah. don't forget. So we <laughs> right. don't forget. Not so unlike, uh, not unlike. Did you did you happen? To, uh, again, this is an apolitical show. We try not to get too political here. However, I did watch the uh, the vice presidential debate. Did you happen yes, to catch some of that? I did. Yeah, and I was and I, I was just I was thinking of. Uh, the vice presidential candidate, the governor Tim Walz, who, who happened to be taking quite a bit of notes, like during the oh, he was. The, I was. I kept thinking to myself, what, what is are he you writing down? Doing? What like, are you writing down? What are you writing? Like, what do you mean? Funny because he wrote it. Down. He never read it again. It wasn't like nope. he wrote it. Down he didn't go back ref- there. He didn't refer back to it. I think that's like a nervous, you know, kind of not a nervous tick, but it's one of those like, how do you keep yourself occupied during the, you know, what do I do with my hands? Right. Well, some people, I think, but I mean, there's some people, and you know, my kids are like that, where when they study, they just write it out, like they like they recopy their notes, and that's kind of how they they remember. That's how they kind of you know kind of bring things in. So maybe that was it. But you're right. It's not like he went back and like, yeah, that's right. He a couple (laughs) guys just checking some notes on a lie that you told again a couple minutes ago. Oh, yeah, it was none of that, right? Uh, yep, yep. It was, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was, that was except, but I, I, I just, I, it made me think of that as you were jotting down your notes. Yeah, like, let me, yeah, let me get this yeah, down. Let me yeah. get this down right now. So, well, I, well it's funny. When, when are you ever in, I mean, unless you're in a client meeting, when are you ever in that setting where you're like, I need to write this down, right? I mean, your whole life is just like watching and listening, right? Yep. And then, unless you're in some like environment where you need to, have something written down. Maybe it's an interview, but there's not a lot of scenarios where you're sort of like once once school's over, the note taking kind of comes to a halt. Well, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm not afraid to write something down if no, I no, think I it's important, it. but it, it's not going to be in the moment. Like no, it's not no. going to be like I'm driving. I'm like I can pull over and yeah. write that Siri, thing down. Siri, take this down. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah maybe no, once no. in a blue moon, you yeah. know, you come up with some brilliant idea. I got yeah. an idea. Why don't I? Uh, why don't I create this thing that makes a spreadsheet? Yeah, like <laughs> and, and I and people could put numbers in it and it'll add it up for them. I, well, you're a notebook guy. You you you. you know, and, and I have the same thing. I have like it's not a, it's not a journal per se. But I have a you know, notebook that I take to different meetings and different things I think about. About oh, I got you. We should do this at the firm. We should try doing something like the firm right. this way. We should, you know, and if you don't write it down, you forget it, right? And you're like, oh, okay, yeah. right? So I, but it's not, you know, I'm in the not, moment. Not in, not in the. I don't take a lot of notes when my, the wife and I are having a conversation, you know. Well, you mentioned yesterday I mean, you wanted chicken for dinner on Thursday. Just, I have my notes. Oh, no, I'm, I'm listening. I wrote I'm it listening. Down. Yeah. yeah, please tell me more. What yeah. about you, Tommy? Do you write stuff down? I mean, I'm like I said, I'm not against it. It's no. just you know, kind of you know, if and when you do. It. I mean, it may be right. Maybe like if you don't write it down right away, you may forget yeah. it. And if you forget it, then. But some people are into it. Like some people will go out and they'll buy the latest and greatest gadget that converts your handwriting into text, and then your text goes into a file. And like, I'm like, more, more power to you. Yeah. God bless you. That's you're committed to it. It's not my move. I don't okay. mind. Yeah, and I, yeah, I don't. I don't necessarily disagree with that. But I guess in the middle of a, if I'm in front of 60 million people in the middle of a debate where yeah. I have to, I have to listen, right? Yeah. And that's that's the other part of it is like when you're writing. Am I listening 100%? Yeah, two things at once. Not the, it doesn't work. No. Yeah, that's right. It doesn't work. For doesn't some, work. not, yeah. not for when I went to, When I went to law school, the big thing was, you know, because you're just overwhelmed, right, with just how much you're volume taking, of, taking yep. and volume of learning going on. And so a lot of people went out, went out at the time, first, as soon as you get into law school, first thing they bought was the 
Dragon Speech Recognition there Software. There it is, right? yeah. I'm all fired up about that, and that's going to make it happen. <laughs> Hook that up into my Microsoft Windows yep. You want to do sit in the back of the room and whisper into your laptop for six hours, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jay had one of those old tape recorders, like the kind that back in the 70s when they would do, yeah. when they put wires on just, a little, right? Just yeah. push the like pod, a little play, microphone. The play record yeah. button. But you got to push it at the same time. Hold on, i got to turn the tape over. Uh, Stop right there, Professor. Just turn the tape over. Okay. Go. Right. It's got cassette tapes yep. out there. This is, yeah. And it's yep. a big box that's law school on it. Yep. That's right. I just listen to them on my Walkman. <laughs> All right. So what's going on? What's new with you? Nothing. I was just telling Tommy before the show, I was, uh, I was heading down to a uh, one of the more tropical climbs down in the I was going to say, I, w- I checked that this morning. This week. Before and I, that's before not going to be went. happening. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a... <laughs> I'm not sure there's a landing spot available for me Ooh. in Miami tomorrow, so I'm not doing that. I did look at that, and I, I again, they projected, so it's it's Wednesday as we're recording this now. So when, when you're hearing this on Saturday, kind of, we'll know yeah. kind of what Hurricane Milton is, what we're referring to right now, has has kind of done to the great state of Florida. To the great state of Florida, yeah. right. Yeah, so, so. I, so looking at it this morning... It it looked like, I, and I was I was concerned about about oh, yeah. the, about the southern part of Florida. I mean, I'm concerned about all of Florida, but sure. I know you, and I and I was like, well, it looks like we're gonna you you may it's, you it's may a, it may a, you may miss brush, it. it. It's a brushback. <clears throat> yeah, it's a brushback for us. Yep, oh yeah, yeah. Yep. So yeah. which is fine. Which is fine. Right. Which is probably going to be you know 30 gallons of rain, but you're yeah. not going to get yeah. the. Winds I don't think I need 12 feet of water rolling through oh, my living room. No, man. thank you very much. And it's crazy, right? Like you know, with in the in the wake of the last hurricane, oh, yeah. it's like. People are like standing there. Yeah, we're you know they're in their they're in their kitchen and it's it looks kind of looks beat up, right? But yep. they're 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 just standing there and telling the story. Like yeah, that window blew out full of water. That door blew out full of water. That like and they're like yeah, we were on the counter, and the water was up over the countertop yep. of water in this house that I'm standing in right yeah. now. Yeah. Well, actually, most people and I I got a couple of these from some uh, some friends and colleagues. And they were at, in like that western part of you know Siesta Key area, and they had pictures of them standing in the water in their kitchen. Yeah. All the lights are out. They get a couple of you know LED flatter, you know b- you know batteries and stuff like that going, and you could see they're in, they're up to their hips, yeah. and it's you know three feet of water, and that stuff gets out of there, and then what happens? And then it goes back to eighty percent humidity, and so yep. it's like it's you know there's so I'm many things that need it. to happen. Somebody told me yesterday they were get, they were supposed to go to North Carolina to visit family, and they obviously can't go there because of because uh, of Helene. And they said that their family was told they probably won't have um, running water for two months. Two months two of running water. Months, right? right? Yeah, so it's like, like you can't even you can't even be there. Yeah, that's that's crazy. You know? so you can't even be there to fix your house up and right. collect yeah. your stuff, find stuff that's not destroyed. And yeah, and then when you go and you're like, okay, well I need to let's see, I need 700 sheets of plywood. Oh, and so does everybody else yeah. in the state, right? So let's see where we can get that. I mean, just the the, the, the recovery work that needs to go on down there is just um, your fingers crossed. I hope so, I hope I hope everybody does okay. It's going to be a tough uh, it's going to be a tough weekend. So a hundred years ago, a little slightly less, uh, when Hurricane Andrew hit back in, sure. in the early. So this is when when we had we had first gotten to the tenth Mountain Division, and that was like the first big deployment. So we I got to see kind of that firsthand that that you know kind of when Florida gets leveled and yeah. this is you know the whole Dade County Miami and you know until you actually see it like until you actually see kind of the 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 vast amount of kind of how just buildings like building after building the after debris building after and the building. devastation yeah, yeah. and yeah. and and then and this was kind of in the when this happened this was kind of the big wake-up call for these insurance you know because you had some of these smaller insurers these oh, yeah. homeowners insurance and they're like oh oh no We've we've been out of money for a month, yeah. you know. There's and we're not even close. So you had all these people that had these insurance claims that couldn't that couldn't get money right. to fix their house, to buy the plywood, to buy it, to do to fix, you know, to go back, to live back. And and these are you know this is in Dade County, Miami. This isn't these aren't like these beachfront homes that were no, you know these right. are people that these are you know inland. That, yep, yeah, inland yeah. that you know that work for a living and you know don't have like the means to like oh I don't have you know thirty thousand dollars in my bank account to be able to fix my house up while I wait, well, for, I my wait for my insurance money. money. That's the that's yeah. the challenge, right? That's the and then the, and and, and the you're problem, seeing that in North Carolina right now. And the problem like it's worse. Like the longer you wait, like you don't get in and get that fix on, you know, get your roof covered up, you know, everything just. Yeah. Falls apart. It's yeah. just it's a it's total wreckage. It's right. Total wreckage. And then, yeah. So it's so it's really sad, kind of what's happening. And then right and right now, and on Wednesday, you know the you know the second hurricane this that Tampa is gonna, Bay is going to be going to hit yeah. is going to yeah. get so, hit hard. Yeah. Thoughts and prayers to those guys. We hope uh, we hope they we hope everybody does all right. Hope everybody does all right. 
All right, so uh, what do we got today? What do you, I mean, you were, you, what I, do you, I wrote down some things because you were just giving me some grief. Uh, there's two I wasn't things. I was giving you grief. Is, when have I ever given you grief? <laughs> there's two things that came up at the office this week. First of I, all, wait, did I, you write this left-handed? No, I know. Like, it's, I, not, it's not readable. I was trying to pay attention and make sure I stayed on, on camera. So it looks like I I'm wish, writing. I, I, I wish. Can we zoom in? <laughs> no. it, it looks like I wrote that at the end of like a long fishing pole, right? That's what I was writing, right? Not wait a minute, wait a minute. But what it says here, it says, wait, what we were going to talk about, is this Jay's pocket? Hanky, this is the this is the the number one thing we're talking. Whoa, what do you know? Uh, Look on. at that, you know, fancy pants, huh? A little dressed up. I get a presentation that we're doing uh, later this week. What do we got going on? Are you, so, are you, so are you doing a dress rehearsal? No, no. It's Wednesday today. It's Wednesday today. So the present. So you'll hear this on Saturday. So tonight's afternoon, we have a heavily attended event over at Milford uh, Federal. We're doing a estate planner presentation. And uh, we get a right. full house, and uh, so we're pretty excited. Is, it, is this one of the ones, are you providing dinner for this no one No dinner. No, yeah. this is not one of this those, like, a, oh. show up and you'll get a brownie and some oh, coffee and, uh, I mean, you know, chicken or fish. That's it's not hard. To, it's those not are bad. hard to pass up, they right? Yeah. I get a lot of them. I get a lot of them. <laughs> Between that and wholesalers, I could probably not pay for meals forever, you know? <laughs> and, and, and and how tempted are you to actually go to one of those, which actually would be fun to do, right? And heckle them? And... <laughs> Just go and, and just heckle them. And ha right, it'd be like having a, a stand-up comedian like Nate Bargetti coming in, watching you know a stand-up comedian, and just start heckling them. And yeah. you're like, oh, I yeah. thought we would. We've, we've thought about those a lot. You know, well, come, come, to, come to Ken's Steakhouse and come to, you know, there's always, you know, something's oh, not here. And, right. You know, we'll do a presentation. Come to you'll, and it, you'll get a meal. You'll get a meal out of it. You'll get a meal out of it. Yeah. I, I just have one question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, just, I, I have a couple of questions, actually. I, I, like to, I have I, a couple I, things I like written to, down. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm, not, I'm not really too familiar with this. Um, what exactly I is do, a I look variable up, I look up universal... a lot of stuff on the internet. I have some questions. What is a variable That's universal right. life insurance policy, and how is that a great investment for That's me? Right. So yeah. the client's getting back their own money. You keep referring to it as income. It's a return of their own capital, isn't mm. it? Isn't it? It isn't could it? be. Yeah. It could, yes. I mean, yeah. I'm not paying. Yes, okay. Yeah, then two burly gentlemen from the corner come over and toss you out on your backside through the kitchen entrance. There's those guys. Yep. Right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Rocco. Yep. Yep. Let the judge find that's his true. checkbook. That's, that's, that's kind of how I exited Fidelity with those same types of questions. That's exactly how I kind of walked out the door over there. You know, we've had about enough of you. <laughs> All right. So before we go to break, what do we? What do we? What do you want so to two, talk about? Two things today? on my mind. Number one, um, somebody hired a lawyer to help out with some probate. You know, why is that a good thing? Right? Why is that a good thing? And, Why is uh, it not a good thing? And then the <laughs> better, better thing is they hired us. <laughs> and then the second thing is um, healthcare proxies and hospitals and that ad that admissions desk that wants to play lawyer. We're going to talk about that as well. The Two admissions desk at the hospital. Yes, we're going to talk about that. Two crazy scenarios that we're going to talk about that we right, think well, need to be on the lookout for. Okay, so uh, right now we're going to take a quick break and uh, hold on to your seats. We're going to come back and get a whole lot of crazy oh, happening here it's coming at with you. that health care proxy and the, uh, and the desk at the hospital. So don't go away. We'll be right back uh, right here on Money Stay tuned. And we're back. My FM 101.3. Jay Marsden with the Marsden Law Group. John Drohan, Main FM Financial. Tom is on the bag for us today. And we are here at the My FM 101.3 studios. Uh, no live audience today. Everyone took the day off. But we're, uh, we're hanging out talking about the money and the law. Everything's, no all, all the things we love talking about besides ourselves. No live audience Ever. Uh, yeah, well, we ever. Have, we, we have a we, room we, there. We can put some people in there. That one set room. Would look, the sun. It would look like if they put some t chairs in the other room. For those of you who, can't, who are listening to this, there's a there's like a, you've seen a radio station before. There's a big window in the middle between the two rooms where the consoles are. And if we were putting chairs in the other room, it, it would look like some weird social experiment, right? Like people it, are just observing us. I feel like this is not unlike one of those interrogation rooms that you see on the TV, on, oh, yeah. the, on the police movies, right? Like yeah. It's almost like, a, like some two-way glass right there. So as I'm looking in here, I could absolutely see Tom getting interrogated, you know, asking like, all right, so what did they talk about? Listen, we need to know everything. Like, what did, well, I, what I did you what did you edit off of the tape? Well, there's a crowbar in there, so obviously that's going to be used to beat a confession out of somebody. <laughs> and then there's going to be a conversation that says something like, so you told the other officer you were home at 11.15, but let me just check my notes. Flip, 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 flip. That doesn't really match up with some of the other. Yeah, here we go. That you know, we should we actually should probably do one of those. You know, again, like kind of uh, good cop, bad cop, uh, where Tom and I could be the good. And then you be the Saul Goodman lawyer that's who right. comes in, right, and saves the day. Well, gentlemen, gentlemen. <laughs> Whoa. I believe the conversation <laughs> ends here. Pack your stuff up. Thank you very much. Don't drink that. Get out the door. Yep. That's usually how it happens. That's right. Usually how it That's happens. Right. Lawyer, lawyer, lawyer. Oh, so two things we want to talk about. So for years, this is kind of weird how this happens. For years, I would say to people, you know, you know, people talk about getting their health care proxies done and getting their, their living wills done and all their, all, all their stuff. 
And I would say to people, you want to get this done? And then they would say, well, what do I do with it? And I'd say, well, you could give a copy to your you know, primary care guy, whatever, your primary care doctor, whatever you want to do. Like, let them have all the info so they know who the players are. Who should we be talking to? I said, because you have to be careful. And, and the people would say, well, be careful about what? I said, well, because what's going to happen is when you roll up to the, to the admittance desk at the, at the hospital or at the emergency room or whatever it is, they're going to ask you a question. And they're going to say, you know, do you have a healthcare proxy? Do you have... And, you know, again, you're, you're at the doctors, right? You might not be of your right mind. You know, if you fell off the ladder, right, cleaning, gut, uh, cleaning gutters, right, this is kind of always our fact pattern, you may roll in there and you might not be, you know, of sound mind, right? And they're going to ask you a question. Do you have a health care proxy? They're going to ask you, why were you on a ladder cleaning your gutters? That's the first <laughs> in a question. In yeah. with a suit with, yeah. with a pocket sure square. Sure you were. With a pocket <laughs> square. And, but, but when you don't know, when you, like, show the slightest hint of, I'm not quite sure because remember, ma'am, I'm here because I fell off of a ladder. They're going to say, well, let's just sign a healthcare proxy while you're here just to make sure you have one. And then next to them is like a six foot stack of blank healthcare proxies, right? Yeah. And so they're going to pull one of those off. They're going to give it to you. You're going to sign it. And then they're going to say, now, who do you want to be your healthcare proxy? And we're going to go back to this whole idea of you're really not with it, right, to make that decision. And then they're going to give you some gentle guidance and encouragement. And they're going to say, well, who's this fine fella or this fine lady who brought you in here? And you're going to say, that's my next door neighbor. That's my neighbor. <laughs> he, heard, he heard my screams and yeah. my cries for help. And he's going to, he's going to bring me into the, into, Tom the, Harmon. Into, yeah. the <laughs> into the building. And they're going to say, well, you know what? I mean, he's such a great neighbor. Seems like let's, a good guy. Let, why not get, why not make yep. it him? Why yep. not make it him? Let's make him your healthcare. He'd like to get involved right? in all this. And two people He'd like gonna, to dig in. Yep. He'd love to help you out. And so two people are going to come over that you don't know and have never met you before. And they are going to witness your John Hancock on that healthcare proxy. And you have, whether you realize it or not, you have inadvertently altered your, state your plan. Yeah. You've changed exactly. your healthcare proxy. Right. Because that, now that's the current one, correct? Yep. That controls. That's the newest one. And so now, when your family shows up to get some information, and they're going to say, um, Can I, who are you again? I'm the daughter. And I have a healthcare proxy yeah. here signed two years ago. I live in, a in the house. Yeah. office. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I've been taking care of my dad for the last six years. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> making all the decisions huh? medically. And who's Bill Jones, who's <laughs> on this? And, you know, Bill Jones is camped out in mom's room or yeah. dad's room, feet up, helping himself to the hospital jello, watching TV. And you're like, what is this dude's story? Why are you here? So, <laughs> all, like, all joking aside, this That's happened. just happened to a Oof. client of mine. It just happened to a client. That is unfortunate. And it was a very, very strange, I mean, fact pattern that, that involves some, some, some people. And it was that exact scenario with a person who brought them in and they changed the healthcare proxy. And then the person who had, had, had been, who had been added as the healthcare proxy was the person that you just mentioned. They were the one living in the house. Okay. And then now we're trying to get them off the healthcare proxy because for a whole host of reasons, they just were not the right person to be making decisions. That happens. Right? And absolutely right, it happens. And so when the when the, when it became crystal clear that they were going to take them off the document, that person's position was, well, if you take me out of this job that I somehow stumbled into two days ago, that I I'm that leaving. I earned, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna. I was helping, and if I don't get the job now that I got it. I'm leaving and I'm not going to stay and help take care of this person. Understanding that most of the time, healthcare proxies are, don't come with a, there's not a salary. It's not a salaried position. No, no, it's not. <laughs> so no, it's, it's not, not like you're going to get paid no benefits. For this. There's yeah. no benefits. No, there's not a 401k or anything like that. When you, if you sign up, if you're someone's healthcare proxy, usually you're doing this out of the goodness and kindness of your heart. It's a labor of love. Yeah. It's a labor of love. So I was, as, the, as we were discussing this with the client, I said to myself, <laughs> I, I said exactly what we just thought. I said, I have used this example for years to tell people to sort of try to avoid that scenario because this is what could happen. It created some real problems with the, within the family because the person that they were seeking to remove was a family member. And it created some real problems with other members of the family just because of the optics of the entire scenario. Well, this... I was going to say, this comes back to, you know, our one of our, you know, our kind of fundamental underlying things is that 
you know, you want to, when you set up your estate plan, when you, when you build this thing in, sure. in the first place, you are of sound mind and body, right? And you yep. are saying, this is what I want. And, and if I get into this situation, right, hopefully I won't, but if I do, this is how I envision how I want this thing to sort itself out. And well, and, and you've put some thought into this, right? You've that's thought, what I mean. You, yeah. you said to yourself, look, I have an like army it, of people that I could pick for this job. And for a whole bunch of reasons, these other people are not the right people. This is the person that I want yeah, to do. And this is the right person, that's right. right? This that's is right. the right person. Yep, right. yep. And so now, and so where this goes is, so of course somebody said to me right away, like, oh, well, you know, she can just sign another one, right? And I said, well, maybe, maybe, you know, I don't, I don't know what her health is going to be like. I don't know what her cognitive issues are going to be like. So we may or may not get the chance to do another one, right? And so if we can't, do another healthcare proxy to sort of fix the problem where we're going to find ourselves in probate court, which is the whole reason we set this plan up in the first place was to avoid all of this. We tell people all the time, get your power of attorney, we can avoid conservatorship. Get your healthcare proxy, you can avoid guardianship. And that now- And that's why you're doing it. Through forces that were completely kind of unpredictable to a certain extent, um, this is what happened. And the way we would have gone to fix this and to kind of unring this bell is, we would have had to end up back in probate court, or not back, we would, have, we would have ended in probate court, and now you're talking about other attorneys potentially being involved, you're talking about guardianship petitions, you're talking about hearings, you're, you're potentially talking about, time. talking about bonds, you're talking about time and you're talking yep. about money. You're talking about time and you're talking about costs. Yep. And that's it's stuff that you could, that you, when you set up your estate plan in the first place, that's what you were, you were, you, you did that in order to avoid all of that's that. That's right, that's right. You thought you were making things easy. So. Um, so I guess the answer is, you know, I don't know whether, you know, there's a need to have like a go bag that people say, hey, look, in the unlikely event that we have to end up at the hospital, grab that folder. Like this folder goes with me to all my appointments. Why? Because if somebody asks, I don't want to be put in that position. That's one option. Uh, the other option, somebody said, you know, what if you gave it to them ahead of time? And my answer is, and I don't know the answer to this. My answer is, I don't know what access the people have at the admitting desk to information, right? Like, I don't know if you gave them your insurance card, does that open the keys to the kingdom and then they can figure out, oh, I can see all your records. And I don't know if that information lives there. I don't think it does. But is the healthcare proxy part of their insurance? I, that's that's something. No, but I'm saying a lot of these systems have gone to this kind of this paperless environment where once your healthcare proxy has been given to your provider and they kind of scan it in, now it's inside is that the part of my Is that part of my medical record? That's, that's a question. Right. You that's know right. what? That's a week. I could find that. You out. might be able to find that. Out. Might you might know somebody. That out. Um, so, and, and I don't. And, and, it, and I know it's in your records. I know it's in your patient records. I know that it lives there. I just don't know if that at that desk when they when and when, and if first of all, assuming you're kind of an, at an in network situation. But the other sure. piece of it is, I don't know if when you when you the, if, if that person at that level, do they have that level of security, if you will, where they just by sitting there they control all the patient records. I don't know if they have that. I, I don't know if they're, they're given that authority at that yeah, stage. Yeah, I know. I know one thing, and again, this is this is for the for the the organized person, right? And sure. I, and and you know, probably four out of five people aren't as organized as they, but but. I know one one kind of, and this is the thing that we preach all the time, right? And and I, again, coming back to, you have a you you do an estate plan, and when you do your estate plan, then you you then you know what you have, you have a lawyer, right? And sure. that, that's my lawyer, right? Yeah. And we've talked about this, how you know what, that's a guy that did my will, that's a guy that did my trust, that's a guy that did my health care, but that's my lawyer, right? Yeah. So so. It, one of the things that I know that the the lawyers that I know that that are you know that are on top of it that are that, that practice law well is they are they stay in contact with their sure, clients right sure, so yeah. so this whole idea of being like hey you know hey this is Jay I'm just calling or I'm sending you an email or my office is sending you an email just checking to make sure there hasn't been any changes sure. and then oh by the way just so just to, just as a reminder. This is what we have of you. There, none of this needs to get updated. Right. And oh, by the way, the other thing is, oh, by the way, this is where it is, right? So, yeah. so that kind of like, that kind of like, what do you call it? Annual follow up, yeah. right? Or some th yeah. that that's that that it, at least it keeps you in that in that mindset. Like, you know, I, if I need, you know, when something they say, do you have a healthcare proxy? Yeah, I got that because yeah. I have a lawyer, right? And yeah. my lawyer told me about and it. And he has a copy of it. And, yeah. and and he has a copy of it. So so when that question's asked in the admittance desk, they're not just 
grabbing that that piece yeah. of paper out, and you're like, yeah, I, I have one. And even if the person, if the person is like not of like right sound mind and body at that time, they're not going to make you sign one of those. Right? If you say I have one, or the person that brought you in, they will. They will. That, they'll tell you they won't. They'll tell you they won't. But what I'm telling you that, that, that the, we need to go on like a this. We need to go on a on a the the incentive on a hunt. The incentive or the inclination is to say, you you seem all right. You seem all right. Well, mm. let's let's make sure we get this taken care of because you don't want to be in a position where somebody's not going to be able to make decisions for you. That translation from the other side of the desk is we don't want to get stuck with you because if you don't have a healthcare proxy and you need to be here and then we need to discharge you and we don't know who to talk to, we have to wait out the guardianship proceeding and put you in a bed where you really don't need to be and you're taking it up and we can't really do a lot for you. So the they will tell you, oh, Jay, that's an insane that's an insane fact pattern. There's no way we would ask a client to sign a healthcare proxy. We're getting to the if bottom. They of really didn't right know now. what was going on. And my answer is, okay, I understand that you have to say that, but if it's a jump ball, they're going to do what probably is easiest for them and what is in their best interest. They're not going to say to you, I know you're not sure you have one. You think you might have one? Get back to us. No, they're going to reach for the stack. And sign it. All right. You know what? We're going we're gonna to cook this chicken. <laughs> we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back. We're going to unravel this. We're going to show you how to, how to fix this. We're it's gonna, a mystery. We're going to show you how to, how to avoid this problem right here on Money in the Law. Don't go away. Stay we'll tuned. be right back. And we're back. Money in the Law, my FM 101.3. Jay Marsden with the Mars, the Law Group. John Drohan, main F for Financial. John's writing something or drawing something. Well, I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying that we're, we're that done belt? talking about your pocket hanky. Is that hanky? a bell curve? Yeah. Just checking things off. All it's right. We talked that, about the pocket hanky yeah. before the break. We talked about the healthcare proxy and the admittance desk at the hospital or at the urgent care or wherever you might end. And the, uh, the, uh, t- the trend or the tendency when, there, when there's a question about whether or not you have a healthcare proxy to say, hey, you know what? If you're not really 100% sure, just use one of us. Let's redo it. And the problem it creates because the person that you're choosing in that moment may not be the person that you wanted to or have chosen because you uh, just you're just not with it. You so just, uh, so here's one of the things, right? This is this is a this is bringing to light a a one of like the fundamental pieces of the estate plan that is often just kind of part of the list, right? So when, when you think estate plan, what, or when people think estate plan, what do they think? I think of a will, right? That's, that's kind of the- usually where that's, it starts. That's the big, yep. right? And, and yep. usually you say, look, if, if I didn't want to, do, if I do nothing else, I just want to have, I need to have, you need to have a will, right? Yep. Your, your will, because in your will will say, if you, if you don't want the judge, the probate judge to decide, you know, if you want to decide where all your stuff goes and how right. everything is, then, you, you get a will, right? And then when we say, oh, well, what else is there? Oh, there's the durable power of attorney. There's a, a revocable trust and there's a healthcare proxy. And, le- and it's like sure. kind of this list sure. of, you know, this kind of package of things that you get from your, in your estate plan. So, but think about it. Like this is really, this is emphasizing, which I, oftentimes, and, and maybe like in your world, because you, you, you kind of deal with it more than we do, you know, more sure. than we see it. But this is important. This is a, your healthcare proxy is really important. Oh, I, I would make the argument that your healthcare proxy and your power of attorney are more important than a will. Yeah. Like if I, and I, you can, and that's, a, I can that's a strong two things, argument. Yeah. Right? If I can only get two things, I'm getting your healthcare proxy and I'm getting your power of attorney. Yeah. Because, because I can do a lot with those things. You can do a lot with those things and you're going to, you're going to, you will reap the benefits of that of those things more than you will from the will because if I am actually exercising <laughs> your will, yeah. then you're not you're not yeah. really around to, to talk about it. You're not really around to like say, you know, I mean you're you're not there. You're <laughs> yeah, assuming assuming you don't care, right? Yeah. Assuming assuming that your opinion is look, I don't really care where my stuff goes. Well you the of state, course you the, care. You do, but you but you might just say, look, the state has a plan. It's gonna go to my kids. You know, it, it might be a bumpy road to get there, but that's where it's gonna ultimately end up. And, and, and I don't know why you'd only be able to do two of these three things, but if, I, but if somebody comes in and goes, look, we got one shot at this, what am I going to do? It's those two things, yeah. healthcare proxy, power of attorney, that's what I need to get done because that, you hit the nail on the head, that allows me to help you while you're alive. Yep. That's really the most important part, yeah. right? That allows me to help you out then, yeah. make decisions for your health, handle your finances, pay your bills so you don't lose your house. 
tell the doctor what should happen to you. Those are the important things. That's yeah. the stuff that you're going to remember. Yeah, you're going to remember because you know what? If you come out of this, if you if you survive this gutter accident that you had, then you know what? You're going to be psyched. That's you're right. going to be glad that like, oh, everything's, oh, oh my, my, all my bills are paid. I'm not like in debt. I'm not like there's, I don't know, people call me, I'm not, I don't owe any money to the IRS or whatever. Yeah, right? my house is still here. It, it still, it's still mine. More yeah. importantly, right? Somebody made those mortgage payments for me. You Somebody know? put a gutter helmet up there too, which is actually super helpful. Super helpful. Oh, super helpful. So much better, right? That. Yeah. That's great. Now Someone sold my ladder. That's no, weird. No, even better. <laughs> it's gave gone. it away. Use the power of attorney to give the ladder away. That's right. Yeah, that's Those right. are the things, right? Those are the things. But this is the point. Like, do I need, wait, do I need a power of attorney to actually put something at the end of somebody's driveway and write with a free sign on it? Please stop. Don't even I don't know. I'm tired of looking I don't at know. that. Tired of looking at that. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this, this, this scenario, and like I said, I highlight it because I, I, you know, we, we, you know, we try to, we try to tell these stories in a way that makes it memorable and makes it seem like it's, you know, something that you're going to want to remember. And I've been telling it for years that it finally happened. And I wasn't, I was certainly by no means happy that it happened, but I said, you know what? You're validating this concern that I've had because this is. I'm psyched this happened. I am so thrilled. Hold <laughs> on I cannot wait to get it. I'm Hold writing this. To... I'm writing this down right and now. It's a guardianship <laughs> case. This is unbelievable. Yeah. That's not what we're looking for. But again, it, it. It, it highlighted the issue that we've talked about over and over and over again. This is what could happen if you're not, you know, whether you, and you said before the break, what, what, what's the solution to this? The solution to this is, number one, get it in the system, right? Give it, to you, give it to your provider. Let them put it in the system so it's there. You can see it. It's good to go. But number two, if you need to, you just have a file right by the door that says, you know, in case of emergency, bring break with in me. Case, bring with break, me. Bring and, with break me. glass in case yes, of emergency. You know? Uh, now, do you need every single document that you have? No, but you need the, the, the healthcare ones that related to healthcare. Does your, there's a copy of your POA go in there? I don't know, maybe. Somebody might be dealing with the financial office at the hospital and want to deal with something, but those, those are the living docs. That's the probate while you're alive part of your plan. We talk about this all the time. Those should go with you. Now, do you put them on a thumb drive and take it with you everywhere? I mean, I don't know how... You know, I don't know how it's crazy you're going to get about it, but it sure. sounds like, but it sounds like the the issue is the concern is is that if I end up in the hospital, that the hospital, and I'm not, you know, I don't know what hospital we're talking about. Sure. they could make me, they could make me supersede my existing healthcare. Process. It could happen, and whether it happens by, and I'm, I'm not, saying they're not, that this they're not doing it sinisterly. Yeah, the, 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 I think the intention is is the right intention to make sure that some, but you just have to be wary of this because again. This is the scenario. The person who shows up, by default, they're like, pick him. And you're like, this guy just met me in the lobby and wheeled me in. I don't even know who he is. But they got somebody. Do I know? need to get my healthcare proxy like tattooed? I'm um, right. No, because like, you change like it we, to we used to do that where you put your social security number there, like you know, so that everybody knows who you are. Like, right? Yep. I so, don't know. They can do something. Got to figure something out. Figure something out. But I, but I guess the question is, I, I the, the question we don't know the answer to right now is, if I have a a, a, a valid healthcare proxy, is that in my my electronic medical record? And yep. if it is, that could solve this problem. Yes. If. If the people that are admitting you know that, mm -hmm. right? I don't know what the technology looks like. I don't work for uh, Meditech. I couldn't tell you what the, you know, where that looks. I don't know if there's a big red light that flashes, you know, when you, you know, and it says, I have a healthcare proxy on file, healthcare proxy on file. You know, if anybody wants some advice on this, I'm happy to call the office and we can connect out there. If somebody's looking to build an app or something like that, then, then there you go, right? But those are the things. Yeah, those are the things. I think that's what you're looking for. You want to let that you know, It let sounds know. like, I mean, this sounds like a, a business opportunity. I think we'll have to chat I, about I, that. I, I almost want to stop talking about I, it. I, I'm, I, give, fact, I'm I, kind of giving away the ghost here. Right. I, might, I might want to dial I, that yeah, back a little is, bit. Yep. Yeah, when I, wow, if I had this app and that just said, wow, yeah, what do you know? Said, boop, boop. Well, this yep, this solves that yep. problem yep, right there. Yep, it could. Uh, for my documents. All right, so... So the the the, the let's, takeaway. So this yeah the, ta the what happens here is that is that it, your your estate plan that you've kind of put you know you put into motion you've you've, put your you've taken the time you did all the right things you got it done for yeah. these reasons yeah and you and you've you've thought about it and you've you've said okay I want you to be my my healthcare proxy. Yes. Uh, not you to be, you know, not, and not, that, that may be, yeah, not, not, not someone not else. Not you, Uber driver, not you, or, not you. Or, or no. not you, my, you know, my wayward, Degenerate you know, son. Nephew. That's right. Yep, <laughs> yeah. That's right. And, and, and 
You did all this who for only, Who only brought me to the hospital because they came over to ask me for more money yeah. and just happened to find me on the floor. Yeah. What a, what's the worst that could happen? What a great solution, <laughs> right? Let's put this person, let's give him some authority. <laughs> Uncle Jay, I got you. Don't you worry. I got yeah, you. I, I got, got you. I yeah. get you there. Hey, by the yeah. way, a little gas money if you yeah. get home, that'd be great. <laughs> I get you should check book right yeah, yeah, where's, you where's your wallet? Yeah, yeah we're going yeah. to yeah. need that. I'll keep your debit card. Just in case. The meds are expensive. I'll keep your debit card. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. It's all good. This is my Uncle Jay. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I'm the boss. I'm the boss. Um, so that's my that's my health history. That's it. I mean, that's a that, that, it, and it's a it's a good story. I mean, yeah, it's thank a, you. Appreciate it's, it. I, I mean, really it's hard a, on it. It's a good story in the sense that it highlights some because again, when when people do their estate plan, yeah. right? It's like all right, I do it, and then it's like ah, I don't want to have to do you know, like I do it, and then I I kind of push away from the table, and I'm like, wow, that done. was exhausting. Done and done. Yep. And I'm done. done and. Done. and 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 then and you feel good, right? And we we talk about it. you. You feel good, and you feel like oh, I've 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 I feel like I've accomplished something. But at the same time, I I, I don't want to I don't want to hang around with right. it. You know, I don't want to yep. I don't want to go on vacation with or anything like that. But I guess the the my takeaway of this is that you do your estate plan and. Even though you're not going to, you, you don't want to go back and like read through it and like, you know, talk about it, at, you know, every Christmas. Right. At the same time, it's good to under, to, to be reminded of it, right? Oh, yeah. To be reminded of it and just to be like, and, and nothing more than like, I'm just checking some boxes. Like, yep. I Especially do as we get older. Because, you know, because remember, you just, you forget what you did. You forget. You forget. Do I have a healthcare, do, do I have a healthcare proxy? I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah. Well, let's turn pretty sure into, I absolutely do. Yeah. And I know who it is. Yes, yeah, and, and what you do remember, I mean, you may not remember all the, you know, the paper. Like, think about it. Think like when you when you purchase property. Do you remember every piece of paper that you signed? No. No, but you know, I did it at my lawyer's office. Well, to your point, and then when you did your estate plan 10 years ago, or however long ago it was, and you don't remember all the documents the way you and I remember them because we work with them every day. So you say, well, I signed a bunch of things at the lawyer's office, but I don't remember what they were. I think one of them was a healthcare proxy, but it could have been a power of attorney. Might have been my will. I'm not quite sure. Again, let's turn quite sure to I am sure. I know exactly what I did. Yeah, and 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 so part of it is on us as the client, right? To be like, hey, you know what? I I don't I don't remember. I don't know. Right. I, I I should kind of know this. So it's not bad. And I'm sure you have clients that'll do that. They'll like just check back in with like, hey, just call and just make sure I had a question about this, right? Oh yeah. And, yeah. And and those are the people. Those are like the that you know one out of five people that are really organized, Correct. right? Yep. Yeah. You know. So the other. 80% of the people are like, eh. so, so it doesn't hurt. And again, this is, this doesn't just apply to state plans, it applies to anything like kind of the, you know, what us service providers yeah, do is yeah. like, like, Hey, just to, and I mean, every time, every time I meet with people, I'm like, Hey, just a reminder, this is why we're doing this. Yep. This is why we, this is why you rolled your 401k over because you want to, you want to invest in this certain way and you want to be way more conservative than you were before or whatever. The and we're going to talk these things through. The more we talk about it, the more you're going to remember it, the more you're going to understand it. You don't have to have all the details, but your understanding of it at the 30,000 foot is going to be good. It's going to be solid. You're going to know you have it. So uh, for our next show, we are going to have, uh, we, I, I think we're going to have a, we may have a, a solution that uh, you can, you'll be able to purchase on our website. Yeah. Uh, that yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> for Stay your, tuned. For your healthcare proxy and uh, for all of your important documents. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm thinking like, you know, I'm, I'm picturing like this lanyard like around my neck with a, with a, you know, like a folder, like my, with a like waterproof my, folder. Like my pocket constitution. Exactly. Like, with me. <laughs> exactly. Yep. A waterproof Waterproof, laminated, yep. just yep. in case. Do you have health care? Yep. Of course I do. <laughs> of course I do. Right here, right here. It's in my, it's in my wet bag. Absolutely there right. There it is, yep. right. Right, and, the, and the, the admittance desk, like that lady, you know, she she probably gets paid for the number ones that she does, it's right? Yeah. commission. Yeah. yeah. How so big she, is that stack? There's some, there's some, right, there's some legal, there's some law firm that somehow is like kind of connected. Her KPI. That gets, a, yep, yep, that gets right. something, right? And she's about to grab one, and you're like, oh, no, lady. <laughs> you open up your, your bloody jacket, right. and there it is. Stop right there. Don't you worry. R yep, rinse just, this off. Let me just move this piece of metal that's sticking through my sternum and pull my. Yep, that's right. Yeah, that's, that's why it's in the wet bag. Oh, that's right. oh no! Oh no! The healthcare proxy's been. It's been stepped. It's all right. I got it in my backup I right here. I get another yeah. one. It's on my keychain. Yep. Yeah. All right. That's my, something my, to keep in mind. On my thumb drive. That's all right. right. Something to keep in mind. Quick break. All right. Let's take quick break. We'll part two of my story. Oh, there's a, there's another part to this there's story. A, well, there's another story. So it's my second story. Yay. Different story, but same idea. Oh my God! I'm on the edge of my seat. Okay, everybody, you too, stay on the edge of your seat. Don't go away. Drive safely, because we'll be right back.
And we're back. My FM 101.3. Jay Marsden with the Marsden Law Group. John Drohan, Main FF Financial. Can I see that for a second? I'm going to hold, you, some, hold something I mean, up. this four, is it. This four, is 40, 40% of the viewing audience probably doesn't even know what this is. Then, which is a cassette tape. It's a, it's it's a, a cassette, cassette tape. tape. Cassette right. tape. And, then, and, the, and probably 70% of the viewing audience doesn't know who it is. Oh, that's probably yeah. true. The great Brian Adams. The great Brian Adams. Who, by the way, if I, if, I, if I remember correctly, yep. didn't somebody happen to meet Brian Adams I did have a in Boston? Oh, tell me that story. Right? No, no, no. We'll go by. We don't have time. We don't have Come time. on. Have time. I'll tell the next show. All right. So the other thing we're talking about that happened this week that was interesting, and I wanted to bring it to the show, bring it to the uh, the, 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 in, the informed mass was uh, the second question or the second issue was the idea of just because somebody hires a lawyer to help somebody out with probate does not ma- does not mean that the wheels are coming off the bus okay and and this is what I'm referring to we we, we, we get phone calls from clients all the time and they say what bus my, are we talking my, about? my 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 sister my brother whoever it is hired you guys to do the probate for my mother and my father's estate. And there's all this accusatory tone, and there's all this like- Wait, what's the, what's the conflict here? What's the- Well, hold what, on, that's what uh, we were talking uh, about. Uh, that's uh, what uh, we were talking about. So, th- th- that, but, but that's, they come in guns blazing. They come in guns blazing. There's a lawyer involved, right? Which means somebody must be fighting about something, right? And so we have to explain to somebody, look, we were retained by your fill in the blank, sibling, sister, brother, whatever you want to call, to help manage the probate process, okay? They don't understand what it's like to deal with the probate court, and our job is to just help them. Help them do this, and which will help you get whatever it is, and I don't know, because I don't have the will in front of me, but whatever it is you're supposed to get. Okay. This is not unlike the hiring of the pilot in the form of buying a plane ticket to have them fly the plane as opposed to you. That's exactly <laughs> right. That's an excellent analogy. It's an excellent, excellent analogy. But it always amazes me because these conversations, when I get on the phone with people, I can just, I can just you feel, feel, you the, feel rage, the anger, the tension, the anger, the, the, the misunderstanding. And so the message is, just because somebody hired a lawyer to help them be the executor of the estate, be the personal representative of the estate, do whatever they're supposed to do, it's not terrible news. It's probably actually good news. And if it's us, it's great news, it's but it's good news no matter what. <laughs> good news what. for everybody. Because then the process is going to be handled. And, and, and my point is, when these unfortunate situations arise and something happens to somebody and you lose a loved one, there's kind of like this, this window where everybody either goes kind of dark or radio silent, right? And that, that, is, that is a window where there can be real misplaced anger, frustration, and suspicion. Well, it's emotional, right? It's it an emotional, emotional time yes. anyway, right? And everybody grieves differently. You know, some people deal with grief by locking themselves up, turning all the lights off, and just kind of being with themselves. Other people deal with grief by hiring a realtor and selling mom's house right away, right? It sounds weird. Some people are action people, and some people are a little bit more passive. So that when, 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 when somebody retains a lawyer to help them with this, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're trying to screw you out of anything, right? But this is the mentality that people come in with, that we get on these phone calls with, 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 with relatives, with you know, people who are part of this, 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 this estate situation, and they are so angry and they're so mad, and we tell them, we're just helping this person do so this who's, job. So this is a this is a, an executor that would that would hire the lawyer or a, whoever a the executor member. of the estate yeah. is, right? We we get the phone call either comes from the executor of the estate to say, I need your help probating my mother's estate to kind of correct everything. Why wouldn't and you gather up the assets? And, and I just don't know what to do, right? Or we get a phone call from somebody who's a potential beneficiary of the estate, and they say to us. I know I'm getting ripped off. Yeah. I, I know my sister is trying to, and, I, and we say, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's going on? Well, right now, nothing. Yeah. I, haven't heard, I haven't heard anything. And so it, and I'll ask the question, like, well, when did your loved one pass away? Yesterday, yeah. right? I mean, it's this whole, like, hold on. Everybody needs to take a deep breath, you know, celebrate somebody's life, and then they're going to figure out, and by the way, there is nothing to really talk about, especially when you're getting appointed as a personal representative. 
You can't do anything until you get your petition paperwork from the probate court that says you are, in fact, the executor. Right. So nothing, you're the executor. Nothing happens. You're in the will. You're yeah. in the will. You're the executor. But you're really not the executor until the probate court says you're the executor. Recognizes you That's as the exactly executor. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So they don't have a lot to tell you, right? Because unless you go to somebody's house and start rifling through some mail and things like that, you really, you can't walk into a bank and say how much is in the bank account. You mm. can't call Fidelity and say how much is in the Fidelity accounts because they won't talk to you. So they probably don't have a lot of information right away because they're just in the beginning stages of gathering up that information. Yeah. Yes, everyone knows about the car collection. Yes, everybody knows about real estate because you can stand on it, you can feel it, you can touch it, you can sit in it. Everybody knows that stuff. But these other things, nobody knows. And so the personal effects, you know, this is not a let's race from the, from the funeral home to go home and start rifling through mom and dad's stuff, right? Because the personal representative is responsible for, for all that, yeah. organizing and gathering all that up, marshalling the assets, they call it, and then making sure that this stuff it goes where it's supposed to go. So the, the messaging is you might not hear anything right away from anybody because there's probably not a lot to talk about. And the other thing is that the people who get that job, the people who do the job as PR, they either don't understand the job, so they don't know what to tell you, they don't know how much to tell you, and here's the other thing. They're terrified of telling you too much because they can't take it back. Yeah, and they and and they can well they could play ignorant in the sense that like I didn't know that or I wasn't aware of that. I thought one thing versus another thing. I agree with you, but that's not what those other people hear, right? Oh no, no. I I understand. And and you brought up the the idea of so if I'm a beneficiary of an estate or one of the beneficiaries sure. of an estate and I hire a lawyer, then 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 that could put people in like this position where they could get defensive. Like, well, why? Why does you know? Why do you need a lawyer? That's right. You know, and that's where you know. And then, and then, well, if you, it, if you got a lawyer, I must need a lawyer too. Yeah, and if I yeah. hire a lawyer, then by definition of the way lawyers work, is that lawyer represents me. It's not like the lawyer is hired Correct. by the estate. So if I hire, if I say, hey, Jay, you need to be. I, I need you to look at this and make sure this is good. You're working for me, right? Yes. You're, yeah, you're not necessarily working for the well, estate. Well, if, if you're the PR. I've been retained by the personal representative on behalf of the estate. So we're working. No, no, I'm talking about if I'm just the beneficiary. I'm I'm one of the beneficiaries. Bingo. My job is to work with the other lawyer now. Yep. Right. And, And this has happened to us. And we tell clients when they come in, look, you can hire us to represent you as a beneficiary of the estate. And I and I'll tell everybody, I'll say, look, I just want you to know hiring us means that we will look over the shoulder of the existing personal representative to make sure that you get exactly what you should get. Now, that could be zero. Yep. That could be 100% of the estate. It could be somewhere in the middle. But there's no guarantee that by hiring us, you somehow come out of this with more. So you may be hiring us to get you exactly what you would have got, even if you didn't hire the lawyer. Right. That's the issue. Yeah, because you're not. It's not like you're going in to argue. You're you're not necessarily being hired to argue and and right. and, and 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 fight or or contest the the estate plan. Right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Now that's a different animal. Right? Yeah. Some, that's somebody comes to us and says, "Well, my mother signed that deathbed will, and we think that some shenanigans were going on." Right. Uh, that's that's well, hold that's on. A, that's a different. That's a different yep. tactic for you yep. guys. I was written out of the will on her deathbed. I think something's up. That's a litigation issue. That's real. Like lawyers fighting other lawyers, and we're, and we're not talking stuff. about that. We're t- no. we're just talking about like you know everybody's like, hey, listen, uh, you know it was really sad that Grandpa passed away, and oh by the way, um, I have a lawyer. This is my lawyer Jay, and Jay's just gonna sit here and, and he's gonna help us out. And then people be like, whoa, what the hell? Yep, you know, that's like right. or, that's right. or or I'm the personal representative, or I'm the executor of said estate. I hired Jay to come and kind of look over my shoulder and people and be like, well, why do you need a lawyer? Well, do I need a lawyer too? Well, because yeah. what's going to happen is multiple beneficiaries are going to leave that meeting and then there's going to be phone calls and texting that says something like, well, why do you think they hired a lawyer? Yeah. Well, if they hired a lawyer, we probably, do we need our own lawyer? What's going on? And those are the questions that come up, Because right? oftentimes that executor could be one of the beneficiaries as well. Yes, yeah. absolutely right. That's Most right. of the time. Yeah. So, so, the, so the messaging is hiring a lawyer is not always threatening. 
It's not always about making sure that somebody gets taken to the woodshed. It's actually, lawyers do lawyers, help a lot of people. Oftentimes, they lawyers do. don't even know where the woodshed is. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I, I well, it's probably not on the property yeah. line, <laughs> too close to the property line. They I'm probably, not going, I'm not probably touching don't have a variance. Yeah. I don't want to know no, about right, it. Right. I don't want to know if you have the permits for that. <laughs> I really don't care about that. Who built that woodshed? I but, don't want to, yeah. But, yeah, I would go in there. But but this is the but this is the thing. And like I said, these are this is another thing that kind of happened where somebody right away, they were hot. And I'm like, hold on. Yeah, I mean, you had a tough this week. Is, this is yeah. just about getting you what's yours. And the person who hired us doesn't have any idea how to do this. And so they're seeking our counsel to help them do this. We do this all the time. We're not talking about millions of dollars. But it's just not always adversarial. It really could be. And so, and that's what we'll tell people. When you, when, if somebody hires a lawyer, ask them why. They want, what, what, you, what I'm just curious. The it, takeaway is the lawyer could be your friend. Yeah. The lawyer can be your friend. We can hug it out. It's not we, a huge problem. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. So it's just something to keep in mind. So remember, healthcare proxies, keep an eye on it. Make sure you know where they are. Don't change them willy nilly. And uh, if you're getting a big chunk of change from somebody's estate and there's a lawyer involved, don't, don't freak out. Don't freak out yet. Don't freak out right away. Be nice. Be uh, nice when you call the lawyer and oh ask yeah. some questions. Don't freak out when you get the bill either. Yeah, because, you know, Never they, freak they, out. they, no. Never freak <laughs> no. out. Never so it's freak worth out. it. It's always. All right, before we go, please, before we go, I'm, I'm, I'm putting this out there. I think we're due for another music, for another right. music. Right, we'll schedule it. We'll schedule no, it. No, I'm saying, I'm scheduled. I want to schedule it like for next time. Can we, can we? Can we talk we'll about? Talk, we'll talk offline. We'll talk All right, we'll offline. talk offline. All right, so we're we're overdue for another yeah, music have your review. People call my people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I will have your people call. I, I'm I've actually I I'm I've been able to hack through a couple of songs, right. so I, I've it. I've Love increased it. my repertoire a little nice, bit, nice. so I get you brought up to speed, and Please then do. We, yep. let me know. I mean, I'll just practice the same. I just need you to tune yeah. your guitar. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's sitting right there, the, all ready your, to go. Your forty-two string guitar. Forty-two string guitar. All right, all right. So glad everybody was with us today on Money in the Great Law. Show. Thanks for a lot uh, of learning. Thanks, right? Thanks for learning with us. Uh, Tommy, we'll see you next time. Jay, we'll see you next time. Shout see out real quick to my good friend Ken Sawyers. He's down with a uh, little under the weather. Just hope he's feeling better. What, is he down? It's a little under the weather. Hope what? He's, he's feeling better, I hope. That's that's all. Thinking about you, he Kenny. Was play, he was playing, I was just texting with him yesterday. Thinking about you, Kenny. All right, we'll, strong, uh, we'll reach strong. out. Well, be right. strong, Kenny. Right. Be strong. If we have to do some kind of like, you know, some kind of like, you know, community, like. We'll figure yeah, it out. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Fundraiser. All right, we'll see everybody next time on Money in the Law. Have a great week. All right.